feels good to say these words. The Heat are up. Lead the series 3-0. We lead the series 3-0 against the Boston Celtics. We win this game 128-102. They not I'll say this. Miami Heat, they kicked the shit out of Boston tonight here in Miami. They kicked the shit out of them. I'm expecting a close game, but what we got was a total massacre from the Miami Heat, and we love it. How do they do it? It's pretty simple. Three-pointers were monstrosities from Miami. They have made 19 three-pointers tonight. Three threes. 19 threes. 19 threes. Who did it? Gabe Vincent. He made six of them. That's his new career high, so congratulations. Duncan Robinson, he made five. Caleb Martin, he made four. Lowry made one. Vincent, like I said, made six. Kevin Love made one. Hopefully his ankle's okay because he had an ankle injury at the at game three. And Max Drews made two three-pointers. 19 threes. 19 freaking threes. That's not all. Jimmy Butler, 16 points. Those were the points that is some of the end ones off Grant Williams. We know what happened in Grant with them head to head in game two. Gabe Vincent, like I said, well, with his six three pointers, he had 29 points in the playoff game. That's awesome. Max Drews with 10 points with his two three pointers. That's pretty, that's really good. Um, Robinson with 22 points. That's off the bench. Highsmith coming in, you know, to take over so that the starters don't get hurt. God forbid. Jovic, God forbid, but he makes two points. Pretty good. He makes two points in. Cody Zeller makes four points. That's nice. Caleb Martin, I already pointed out he has uh, four or three points, but he has 18 points today. Kyle Lowry with just seven. Not terrible. Yersevin with four points. Excuse me, two points. Zeller was four points. My mistake. My mistake. And one more that real. That, you know what though? I agree with the fans. Hasm could have played. He really could have played just for a couple, just for a minute or two. And you know what? Since we since I wanted Haslam, the Heat fans wanted Haslam. I decided to put Haslam's jersey on anyway because a why not? B Jimmy B, Jimmy Butler. Had a lot of help that he desperately needed, especially especially that last series with his ankle. Uh, even though the ankle is improved, you don't want to risk too much of it. And with Game 3 being that, the way that it was, you decided to uh, sub him out. One more name I didn't point out. I wanted to save the best for last. Bam out of bile. He has 13 points in, in this game. Four field goals. Um, with five free throws, the free, the field goals. I'll tell you what. Those were the most. Those are the most insane um, field goals I've seen from the Heat team this season. He has made not one, not two, but three bam posters. I've seen in this game. He did that. Um, he did that earlier um, in the paint. From the Duncan Robinson alley oop, one hand slam alley oop dunk from Bam. That was thunderous. It was thunderous dunk. Oh my God! I'm so I won't. I will be surprised if that doesn't make the sport the ESPN sp top ten. Actually, scratch that. I won't be surprised because ESPN still has that bias against Miami Heat. But for God for say, if that if that is not good enough, how about this? Jalen Brown. Guarding Bam out of bile. Bam has that center role. Yes. Even says it in this stat. Center. 
He spins away from Jalen Brown, and Jalen Brown falls down to the out of bounds with this look. And bam, thunderous two-handed slam. That's two. And finally, um, finally, that what could have been, what could have been his third one, but it was fouled, and it didn't, and he didn't make that basket from the Tatum foul. What could have been. He still makes those free throws. At that point, we were up by 25. Imagine the scenario we were up by 30. Remember this. Before game one, ESPN, <coughs> ESPN had us with 3% chance of making it to the finals. Just three. I agree with one of the social media saying 3% chance, 97% faith. With enthusiasm, passion, heart, we could do it. We have held our own against Boston because Boston, none of them have over four three-pointers. The closest one was Devin White. Tatum with one three-pointer and um, three turnovers. Um, that's pretty much it. There were a couple of moments where they challenge, and it was successful. Marcus Smart getting called for just a common foul other than the hostile, but that's okay. Kevin Love hurting his ankle. I hope he's okay. It didn't seem that serious. I don't think it's that serious. I think I think he'll come back. And we got the news earlier that Tyler Hero had removed his brace, but in the in the game it didn't look it didn't look like the brace was off. But we'll see what happens. That's really all I gotta say. Miami Heat dominance. And Heat fans, we are one win away of going to the NBA Finals. Tuesday, we have an opportunity to sweep the Boston Celtics. It's not going to be easy. And I'll say this. I'm, I'm going to say, like I said, a week or, week or, the, a week or so ago with the Florida Panthers. Because I'm in, because it's kind of the scenario... Or, or about to be that two-time scenario tomorrow if things go our way, too. We cannot get ahead of ourselves. We don't want to jump the gun. We do not celebrate yet. We just don't. Don't bring out the brooms yet. Do it after we actually win game four. If we win game four. Because I said this in the Florida Panthers um, review, right? If we jump to we, if we get ahead of ourselves and get too cocky, bad things will happen. For and tomorrow and when I said that, Toronto may release one game four. Now we now Florida Panthers won that series, but we would like to have a sweep. So, um, so look, even though we're we're three and zero, we still gotta play like we're still in trouble. Boston is going to come out angry. After Miami Heat just giving them the beating of their franchise history. And that's and and TNT even confirmed this is the largest playoff defeat in Boston history. So they're gonna come out angry on Tuesday. I guarantee it. Tatum's gonna go off. Jalen Brown is gonna get better. Marcus Smart's gonna make smarter plays. Um Um yeah, no. No pun intended. Devin White is going to get better. And maybe they don't have to use their subs like they did. We don't know. All we, got, all we know is we got to be prepared. It's smart to be prepared for the unknown. And that's pretty much it for this video, folks. Go Heat. I love where we're at right now. One win away at going to the NBA Finals. It could be the Denver Nuggets. We might play Denver Nuggets in the finals if A, they win as well, or B, we win as well. At the end of it all, we are still one win away of going to the NBA Finals. And we have an opportunity to sweep the Boston Celtics. Imagine that. But we have to make it a reality. That's going to do it for this video, folks. If you like this video... Hit the like button, subscribe, more content because Miami TVG has it back. And when he does, he'll be right there with the FBI entertainment you deserve. This is Miami TVG.
Go Heat! And I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Get out everybody.